North Korea. Yahoo News is reporting. Now, first of all, I forgot who sent this to me. Just give me one second. I'm too upset. This article is so upset. Troy. Troy of... Uh, I lost my ink pen. I'm just so upset. Troy of North Carolina sent this to me. I had already received an article similar to this by Tina of Indiana. But it, uh, No, not Tina. Uh, yeah, Tina of, of Indiana. And I said, no, because it was, it was mail online. And sometimes... You can't, they, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. I usually have to wait on them. But now Yahoo News is reporting the same thing. North Korea has publicly executed 80 people. Are you serious? Are you serious? Get this. North Korea has publicly executed around 80 people earlier this month, many of them, for watching smuggled South Korean TV shows, according to a South Korean newspaper reported today. Uh, the conservative uh, Guglian Ibu cited a single unidentified source, but at least one North Korean defector group said it has heard rumors that lent credibility to the front page report. The source says to be familiar with North's internal affairs and recently returned from the country said that the executions were being carried out in seven cities throughout North Korea. It took place on Sunday, November the 3rd. In the eastern port of Wonsan, the authorities gathered 10,000 people together in a sports stadium to watch the execution of eight people by firing squad, according to sources quoted eyewitnesses as saying. 10,000 people brought into a sports stadium to watch eight people murdered by firing squad by the, by the government of North Korea. And Kim Jong-un, are you serious? What is going on? Now, the Mail Online says that they were killed for two reasons. For watching TV shows that were made in South Korea. And also for owning Bibles. Now, Yahoo News doesn't tell you about the Bibles. Because they don't want you to know that it was, it's Christians that they're killing. It's a Christian genocide. But Mail Online does tell you several large-scale public executions of around 80 people have taken place in North Korea, according to the South Korean newspaper. They quote the same paper. In one, women and children were herded into sports stadiums to force to watch people being shot dead by machine gun fire. The executions took place on Sunday, November the 3rd, according to the paper. Why were the executions taking place? Because the paper speculates they may have been carried out due to the unrest to stop capitalist ideology from growing and for watching South Korean movies and for distrib distribution of pornography, using prostitutes, and possessing Bibles. Now, it doesn't mean the people who are possessing Bibles were, were, you know, distributing pornography and using prostitutes. But in other words, if you have a Bible, you should be killed. If you're involved in any of these other Western activities, including believing in freedom... You should be killed. If you just have a Bible in your home, you should be killed. Folks, there are hundreds of thousands of Christians rotting in North Korean prisons. And now he is starting these public executions? 80 people? Put it, bringing in 10,000 people into a sports stadium to watch it? This is the great Kim Jong-un. Christians are being murdered. 
and people who just want freedom are being murdered. This is the beginning of the New World Order. It's not just, you have to hear me now, communism and radical Islam, you know, they, they work so good together. That's why, that's why the communists will, will finally merge in with the New World Order, the One World Government, because they can have a false, an antichrist can run the government because it's going to be anti-Christ. Communism is anti-Christ. And then the false prophet, well, he'll be radical Islam because he hates Christ also. So they'll be perfect bedfellows. They both believe in oppression. Sharia law or martial law doesn't matter. It's the same thing. One does it because you need to be in line. The other one because you're out of line with your uh, religion. So this is what's coming down, folks, but it is confirmed. Now, I got this article from Tina of Indiana, I, and I held off uh, for a couple hours until I got this confirmation from Troy of North Carolina. Again, I repeat, brutal execution of 80 people by North, by North Korea's Kim Jong-un has taken place in these last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. These are, these are the, again, these are more signs of the end times. Not just the water turning blood red. Not just the sinkholes swallowing buildings and homes. Not just earthquakes in diverse places. Not just super typhoon Yolanda destroying the Philippines. Not just the comet Ison and the solar flares, the X flare that happened yesterday or Saturday on the sun. No, not just the spinning asteroid with six tails. No, 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 no. Not just those things. But the atheistic growth and the murdering and persecution of people who just want to be free and the persecution coming upon Christians around the world.